So I totally went beyond my, uh, went out of order on this. So I'm going to try and bring us back to, back to the, the uh, handout here. A couple points. If you're going to store water in smaller volumes than something like this, just make sure you, you don't use milk jugs. The, that plastic, it breaks down quickly, it's nasty, it's not good for you, and it will literally break wherever you're storing it. After a certain period of time, the plastic will fall apart, and you'll just have a huge old mess on the floor. You can use two liter soda bottles to, to store water if you need to. Anything else like those from the store that already has water bottles, those are fine too, except for not the ones that look like milk jugs. Those are not the right thing to store it in. Um, I talked about getting the blue instead of the white. Never use ones that have had chemicals, and you can store them outside. A lot of folks, they store them in their garage, and they'll actually put them up on a pallet or a few pieces of wood to get them up, up off the concrete. I don't know why that is. Does anyone know why that is important? Please. Because it will bleach, leach out the concrete into the plastic into the water. Okay, so it will leach up through yes. the plastic from the concrete. Okay. Yes. I never knew what the reason for that was. I just clean, keep mine outside. We talked about cleaning your used barrels, and um, we talked about uh, we talked about filling. But we didn't talk about filling up your barrel. If you want your water to taste better, go buy yourself an RV hose. It's not a garden hose; it's an <coughs> RV hose. Find an RV place and stop by. They'll sell you one. They're a little bit expensive, but they don't they don't allow that rubbery taste from your garden hose to get into the barrel. So it will taste a little bit better for you. Is that on your additional products? Is that the safety section note or not? It is not the safety. It's not on my list of products. That's something that needs to be added. Okay, so that is an RV. But it is under maintaining water storage. It says consider buying a drinking quality hose. And what I meant is an RV hose. Which is white and color. Which is white. Aren't some of them gray? They're no, all white. Okay. They're all white. They're all white. So they have 20 years ago. In diameter. So they're a small. So small so you can have pressure. Okay. Thank you. That's something I'll add to this for next time. In fact, I'll go buy one for next time. That way we'll have off hands so everybody can see what it looks like. Then I recommend draining it every 12 months. My dad does it every Christmas. Between Christmas and New Year's, he knows he has a little extra time. He goes out and fill, dumps all of his barrels out and fills them back up again. Five years, you know, I, what do I have to say about that? Nothing. I mean, five years works, that's fine for you too. All right, so that's, that's water storage. That's all that I have planned on talking about water storage. Does anybody have questions before we move on past water storage? No. Okay. Well, let's move on to filtration. Why are we talking about water filtration? The reason we're talking about this is what if you run out of water, but there's water close by? What if there's Spring Creek running by your neighborhood like there is with mine? Or if there's a little pond in your neighborhood? What if you got some rainwater that's coming down and you want to know if that's safe to drink? How do you know or how do you make that stuff safe to drink? So that's what we're going to talk about water filtration next. The gold standard in the world for water filtration is this guy. Yes? How do you filter the water out of your swimming pool? The, exactly the same way as we're going to talk about. This, this guy right here is called the Big Berkey. It, there's, it, or British, it's made by a company called British Berkfield, and it, this is what people use if they really want to have clean water. And the way that it works is, is you put water in this top container right here, and it filters down through these big ceramic filters into the bottom, and when it gets there, it's clean. And it has a spigot that comes out of the bottom, just kind of like this one down here. Now, I didn't put it together because it's a pain in the rear to, to take apart, and so I'm just, I, I, I put this right back in my box. But inside of this thing, there's up to four of these guys right here, and they're called ceramic candles. And the water actually filters through the ceramic right here, and it has such small pores that it filters out all the bad microorganisms, sediment, all the other nasty stuff that you don't want. It does not filter out chemical problems though. Fertilizers, other chemicals that might be in the water, doesn't get filtered out. However, they do sell one of these called black candles or black Berkey candles. And those include a charcoal filter on the inside that will significantly reduce the amount of chemicals that get through. And they get rid of the chlorine. So if you're filtering pool water, you get the black candles. The, the, this is what actually does the job. And they, they just fit inside here, they screw in, and it filters the water out. What's the difference between filtration and <coughs> purification? Filtration takes all the stuff that's inside of it and actually physically forms a barrier to keep it out of the other whatever the water is coming into. Purification takes water that could be bad and it kills the organisms in the water. It doesn't filter them out of the water. Does that make sense? So that's the difference. Is you can, if you use bleach in water, it'll kill all the nasty stuff that's in there. They're still in the water. They're just dead. and They're not going to hurt you. And the bleach is still in the water. 
But if you filter that water through a black Berkey candle, it's going to get rid of most of your bleach and all the other nasty microorganisms that might be in there that will make you sick. All right, there's our big Berkey. But if you want to go with the, with, the, with, the, with the great option, if you're willing to spend a few hundred bucks, the Berkey is definitely the way to go. Please. The Berkey has the two or the four candles, mm -hmm. and that depends on how much you think you're going to need. That's right. Each candle will filter how much per hour? Four eight. There's an A one now? Yeah, I have it. Oh my gosh. It, it has to be bigger than this unit because I don't think this one will even fit. It's much bigger. It's much bigger. Okay. But there's a certain amount, is it half a gallon per hour per candle? Is what I, I think it'll filter. So the more candles that you have inside, the more the faster it'll filter water. So if you have a larger number of people in your home, you want to get ones with more candles. This one has four candles that will fit inside of it. You can see in the bottom there's four holes that each candle will screw into, and so it'll filter, I believe it'll, this one will filter two gallons per hour of clean water. And each, each candle will last for se about 700 gallons at the very least. Unless your water is real murky and nasty, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause the candle to clog up a lot quicker. It's going to slow down the filtration. Now, other, another cool thing about these, these candles is that if you do, if you are in a situation where you put murky water in and it gets all gooped up and it's not going very fast anymore, you can literally take sandpaper to them. Dry them off, take sandpaper, and really lightly sand that outside layer off, and you can start from scratch on it. So that's something that works pretty well. With the black ones also? Black ones also, yeah. And how do you know when to change your... So the charcoal, though, that would... You don't. When the water quits running. When it stops One of these, running, but when it stops running at the speed you want it to, I mean, you just use it until it quits working, more or less. And it's, if the water's coming through, it's still clean, but it's going to really slow down. You're going to know when your candle is at the end of its life, because it's, it's just going to come through really slowly. But the charcoal will have a limit to how much chlorination it's going to be able to get out. So the outside might be able to keep filtering this rain. Right. But the black ones with the charcoal in the middle, they're only going to filter out so much chlorine. And I have no idea what that threshold is. So, I mean, it's going to depend on how much is in the water. Please. Okay, so there are some differences between the white and the black ones. The black ones are filter and purifier. Right. Okay. So you do not have to put Clorox or any chemicals after you filter it. The black ones will last 3,000 gallons per filter. Uh, I have the larger unit that holds up the four. We have two filters in there right now. Yep. It cost me $300. It's the Royal Berkey. And it will, so I have two filters in there. It cost me $300. It'll filter 6,000 gallons. I'm paying two cents a gallon to filter your water. And that will last me for 10 years if I drink it on the rate that we're drinking, my wife and I are drinking it right now. So it is it is the king of filters, and, and I didn't buy one for years until actually I went to your presentation last year, and I did some research, and it's the best filter, and it's two cents a gallon. Yeah. And I don't have to add, I don't have to worry about purification, it takes care of the purification. Yeah, thank you. That's right. And it's a ceramic, ceramic filter. It's a ceramic filter, yeah. Did you have any questions? Did you have a question or you just no, scratch? Okay. okay. So, so, so what's that to this? You don't have to clean the, the water. Is that when you replace the filters? Is that what you're saying? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Is there anything else that needs to be cleaned? Oh, well, you know, periodically you, you definitely would want to clean out the, the containers, you know, just wash them out with some soap and, and clean them out, rinse them out just like you would a normal dish. But it's, it's, not, it's not a real problem. You don't have to do it daily or anything like that. It's not going to be a big algae growth problem or anything like that. But it's a good idea just to rinse it out every so often. I forget to answer the question here. Uh, this is the only filter that has uh, documented how you can test it to see if it's still working. Okay? And that's with the black filters. And it's the food, uh, food color testing. You drop a food color in the upper bucket, if it, if it's put in red. If it comes out red in the bottom, you're done. Okay? Yeah. If it comes out with no red, you just keep on going. So there's no guesswork when the filter is over. <coughs> yeah. You're not going to throw away a filter that still has another 1,000 gallons. Of All right, you, you can just test it and you go from there. Excellent. Thank and, you very much. And we're not promoting anybody, but if you want to get it for cheaper than he paid, it's on for two fifty eight dollars right now. Where? Amazon. And if you have Prime, for it's free shipping. For yeah. 258 for the, <laughs> the yes, Royal for Berkey or for, the, for big the Big Berkey with two Black Berkey? Filters okay, there you wow. go. for six thousand gallons. That's yeah, just you, I have I have a video on this. I mean, you sold me on this last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I did do a video. There's a link below my video on my YouTube channel. Yeah. That'll take you to the Amazon. And I also have the uh, little glass thing that uh, tells me how much water is in there, which is really handy. Oh, it's something that plugs into the side. Yeah. 
Okay, it tells you your level. All right, good. All right, so that's that's the expensive option. Now, if you want to go with a less expensive option, you can do what I'll call the Berkey substitute. And there's this thing called the Just Water Kit. And basically, what it is, is it comes like this. See, see that little round thing in the middle? That's that's a candle that's made by a different company. It's not tall and skinny like the Berkey one was, which is this one, right? It's it's rounder and flatter. And it costs, I believe the kit is 30 bucks on cheaperthandirt.com. And all you do is you take one, two, three of those, you drill a hole in the bottom of a bucket that's the same size as a little nozzle, and you stick them inside of it. It has washers that come with it. And you get two buckets. You take the bottom, you take the top bucket and, and drill a hole in the bottom, and mount it in there. You take the, the lid to the second bucket, drill a nice large hole. It fits just like that. You just put water in the top one. It filters through the ceramic filter. It puts water into the bottom one. And then the kit also comes with a spigot. And all I did was drill a hole in the bucket. It has two washers. I screwed it on. And now I have a very cheap option to do something similar. Now, the ceramic in the testing on this is not up to the same standard as it is with the Berkey. I don't know how the ceramic compares, whether it's the same type of exact product or not. I know that it hasn't been tested to the same standards as the Berkey. So if you want to be certain of the product you're getting, use the Berkey. Another thing that you can do, if you want to go the middle ground, is you can buy these candles separately. And you can do the exact same thing as this in your own buckets. It'll save you some money. Because these nice stainless steel things cost quite a bit. It's quite a bit of an add-on to the price. So you have lots of options. And if you want to filter more water faster, you just add more candles inside and more water will get through in a faster period of time. So that's the do-it-yourself version right there. The other thing that this thing comes with, which is kind of cool, is a little sock that goes over the top of it. So if you're putting water that has a little bit of gunk in it, or it's maybe a little bit green, it helps to filter out some of the large particulates before it goes down and touches the ceramic filter. All right, where was I? So that's the cheap option. Now let's go to some water filtration. Any questions about that before we move on? So we're going to talk about portable water filtration. So next. more filters just makes it filter faster. faster. That's, That's it. all. It's not filtering it more. Nope. It doesn't, doesn't change the quality of filtration. Just filters it faster. That's exactly right. Thank you. I had a question about, um, I actually have that stainless steel one, and I, uh, I'm not sure I tightened it tight enough because it's leaked a few times. Uh, Out the bottom it, here? Yeah, that part. Yeah. But how do I get it tight enough? Because you're not supposed to put like dirty tools in there to tighten it, are you? Yeah, dirty tools are fine. They're <laughs> <laughs> not going to hurt you. <laughs> Really, I mean, I, I, I'd use a dirty tool, no problem. If you really are worried about it, you can take your dirty tool and put rubby alcohol on it and put it in the flame, and then it's not dirty anymore. <laughs> how thirsty are you? Yeah, that's right. How thirsty are you? That's exactly right. Or you can just use the tool and then wash it out really well with so hot soap and water. When you're done, just wash everything off real well and you'll be okay. Anything else? Yes. So I had the same problem. Uh, I called Burke and he said, just put uh, olive oil on that washer. I put olive oil on, put it back in, and it's never leaked since. Yeah, because the olive oil will grease it so it's able to get tighter without as much pressure. Perfectly. Yeah, I thought that would work well. All right, let's talk about portable water filtration. 